Hey everybody, one another episode of On the Paint Table. It's my weekly show where you see what I got done, what I'm working on, and what is coming up. So this week I painted a whole lot of models for close quarter battle. It's a review and let's play you can see today um, of a sort of like special operatives, the Archer style 80s action movie, modern combat game, um, where you do narratively linked like branching missions to go on an adventure and fight your way through hordes of bad guys um, to like, fulfill various mission objectives and it can branch different ways over the course of the adventure so you'll see the first episode today along with a rule book review um and of course the next couple episodes will be coming up in the near future so uh yeah i painted a bunch of bad guys a bunch of operatives a bunch of buildings and then i started digging through my stuff to collect um more models for a upcoming tournament. I'm actually gonna go to an event this week. I'm going to an Infinity Tournament in Hamilton, a Black Knight Games, which is exciting. Uh, and I'm gonna paint some new models for that and start digging around in my boxes to figure out what I wanna use for Space Station Zero. So let's take a look at what got done and what is coming up. So here's what I painted this week. I painted a whole bunch of 3D printed um, FDM scenery from Corvus Terrain. Uh, they were kind enough to let Darren use it in his book for CQB and he printed me off some and sent along for Let's Play. Um, there's three buildings here, sort of like some uh, rusty old shanty shacks and then a warehouse, which actually has like a sliding door and a removable roof, which is nice. You can actually, I don't know if I can do this with my stupid left hand. I can probably open one. There we go. Yeah, I can, <laughs> you can slide the, slide the building or the, the thing over on this little rail. So it's in a rail system there to open or close it as you like. Uh, interlocking walls, they all sort of like bridge together. They have a corner section and end caps as well. So you can like finish them off that I painted up. I did all this with uh, some like various brown primers. I used a dark chocolate brown for the warehouse and a lighter sort of like orange brown for the buildings and the um, fence dry brush some metallics. Made a thin down wash, a little bit of gloss varnish and some orangey brown, I think like Morn Fang brown and then just went through and painted all the details. Various colors, add some static grass from Gamer Grass. Uh, they have some cool bigger stuff too, sort of like bushy, like cactusy looking bits, and then some like mixed foliage and stuff too. I figured that these um, these are actually planters on the roof. You throw in tires up there, and you can use them as planters to like grow things, have like a little rooftop garden. Uh, and then all of these cool miniatures. So these are Darren's um, cartel members, a bunch of like green and trained, and then the cartel leader here in his cool suit with a cigar and his you know glass of brandy. I painted these up with contrast paints over a white scar, and then the basing is all done with um, is uh, Sterling, Sterling Battlemire uh, dry brush with a bit of um, Mornfang Brown and then a bit of beige, and then I used some Highland Tufts from Gamer Grass to finish it off. So lots of contrast, a bit of like detailing afterwards, just putting some white into the contrast and uh, throwing some highlights on the skin, some highlights on the um, clothing and stuff like that. And I just basically went through, and whenever there's a duplicate, I would like reverse like the color. So like I had like purple pants on one guy and purple shoes on another and went through and did like one of each color on each model and it lended that nice sort of like street clothing mixed stuff. So you don't see the repeating of the, um, the miniatures that often. And then all of my operatives, there's actually only four operatives here, but what's cool is in the game, there's various poses. So when you weapon swap, uh, there's like an optional pose basically. So if you hear Stryker, he's one of my two characters um, that I randomly rolled the names up for uh, in the in the book during the, the GMG book review. You can see he's either prone, he's got his AR out, or he's like switched to his pistol. Uh, so you don't have to remember. So instead of like throwing a token down for what you're armed with, like, you can just swap the model. I thought that was a cool little like feature. Obviously you can use whatever models you want, but for the models Darren made for the game itself, um, I thought this was like a cool thing that basically you could see the status using a miniature as opposed to some other way. And there's Lunchbox, she's got her um, SMG out, her pistol and her knife, or she's prone. And then I called this guy Rick, <laughs> uh, for obvious reasons, because for, I don't know why, but he, he just, he's, he's Rick rolling people. Uh, he's got his SMG, uh, he's got a dead pack on the other hand, and then uh, prone as well, and then prone with a sniper rifle, um, a pistol, and uh, standing as well. So like, it's neat, you have like this like visual representation of how they're actually oriented in the battlefield. You don't have to use them, but I figured I'd paint them all up. So I ended up painting for four, for four operatives, used two in the game. I painted 12 miniatures, because <laughs> I just wanted for completeness like, to be able to show off how cool that sort of like variable, variable thing was. And a lot of the same sort of methodology, I used, um, I think Chaos Black Primer, or sorry, Abaddon Black Primer, for most of these and then gave them like a fatigue green or like blue in this case he's wearing like a SWAT coverall because uh, they're all mercenaries right they're not they're not in like a fixed uniform um, and the ghillie suit again with like the green and browns I wanted to like make them look all, all kind of unique and individualistic but still have some like sort of professional sort of attire on um, so yeah I use dark tones with some black washes and then give them all different skin tones give them all different 
uh, hair colors uh, so they could like pick out and be different on the battlefield. Now the basing is actually like just standard 25 mil bases, but the training level is denoted by the clip-ons. That means you can use the same miniatures for the bad guys, the insurgents, and just use different colors to show the training level. So like these are trained in blue and then green obviously is green and then the operator level is red. So you can see what their actual like action count is and sort of at a glance. A little, little video game style. So that's it. I painted 12 plus... 13, 25 miniatures and another whole lot of train. <laughs> that was my week for pain this week. So I'm gonna play my Aleph on the weekend. So I went and grabbed myself um, a bunch of my unpainted Aleph miniatures and I'm gonna bodge a list together out of this. I don't know what I'm gonna do yet, but I know that these are all modern-ish Aleph miniatures and I wanna use them. So what do I got in here? I've got, uh, who are you? Oh no, you're not in this. <laughs> you're not in this list. Knopf, I want to paint my Knopf up. I have the other one somewhere, the original like uh, comic book one. I can't find him. I'm gonna paint and prime my Knopf. Um, I want to have. I have a um, uh, what's his name to uh, Armand Lemieux. If I want to use him as well, I have uh, Achilles. Um, of my um, Dakini attack, uh, Dakini attack bots rather, and a Sura. I want to paint up an HVT and then some Pro bots and a. Um, uh, what should I call it? Not attack bot. A I can't remember what that one is. The one that's the the one we commonly use now in the in the ITS. I want to use my ITS one. So that's the one with the comments. It's digging for Space Station Zero stuff. I went to my Rogue Trader box and found some weird Rogue Trader stuff. I don't know if I want to do Rogue Trader. I want to do modern minis. There's so many. I have so much like Merc stuff and like other modern stuff I could use as well. I don't know. I'm just trying to get inspired. I don't know. If, should I do retro or should I do like the look is kind of retro, so I'm feeling retro. But also there's a ton of like. Mm. There's kind of like other things I could do modern miniature wise too, so I'm, I'm kind of up in the air. I'm not sure what I want to do for Space Station Zero yet, but I have to do like six shooty mutant slash robots, six stabby mutant slash robots, and then some like some dudes for a crew. And I haven't figured out what I want to do yet, so, so give me ideas, give me inspiration. So there you go, a big painting project done for CQB for this weekend, and lots of things coming up, including me going and spending a day playing games just for myself, not recorded. So uh, yeah, if you're around Hamilton, play Infinity on the weekend, go check out the Black Knight Games ITS. Three rounds, 300 points, uh, and I will let you know how I did next week and see what I got done. So big thanks for watching, thanks Alan Ash. Have a good Hey there, I hope you enjoyed that video. There are tons of other games already recorded for you to watch. Click over to my channel page if you haven't already, and have a look through the dozens of playlists full of videos. I guarantee you'll discover a game you haven't seen played before. I put out new videos seven days a week, and every day is themed to a different genre as I continue to explore the wider world of gaming. Of course, none of that's possible without you, the viewer, so click a like and subscribe if you'd like to stay on top of what's happening here daily. My two kids and I are massively grateful to be able to have the flexibility of this job so I can always maximize my time with them. If you want to support me continuing to put out this content, it's only possible because of my amazing backers on Patreon who support the studio, equipment, and model cost, as well as being how I make the bulk of my living. You can also help out by buying a t-shirt through Spreadshirt, a measuring gauge or widget from Death Ray Designs, or buying one of my games and supplements like Last Days, Gamma Wolves, and Blaster. As a way of showing my appreciation, patrons get early access to new games and supplements that I write throughout the course of the year. Huge thanks for watching, it really does help out, and happy gaming.